The United Nations says the Earth has reached a population milestone, the birth of the world's seventh billionth person. Valley View reporter Jack Bryant looks into the challenges the next generation faces as it grows up in the 21st century. Jack? With more people comes a need for more of just about everything. Clean air and water, food, land for crops and homes. But what happens when we exploit and pollute those resources? In part two in this series on population growth, we'll talk about what could happen if people take from the environment and don't give enough back. As human population continues to grow, pollution and waste management will become problems worldwide. We pollute water, we pollute air. Okay, these are the main things that you pollute. By polluting air and water, you pollute human beings. In Beijing, the air quality index has been consistently in the 100 to 300 spectrum. That's the price of rapid economic development, and people are getting sick. Professor Olwert sees China following in America's footsteps. They're already quickly bumping into the late 60s, early 70s of the U.S. era where we started saying, we need pollution controls because this stinks. And if we don't make a change... I think you're going to see higher cancer rates. People are going to be dying at 40 instead of 70. Professor Mashad says a key change to avoid danger will need to be... A change in the way Americans and people in the middle and upper classes consume generally. That requires uh, a whole lot of work on the part of the citizens uh, of the world as well as, as politicians. At a sustainability event at Cal State Northridge, Green activist and former city council member Andy Schrader had an important message for students. We only have a certain amount of natural resources. If we keep consuming at the rate we're consuming, it's not sustainable. And this consumerism idea is also uh, transferring to the emerging economies. Go to India, go to China. Now they are kind of living the American way of dream. You know, the 1970s and 1980s American dream. They are not that much aware about the environment. They focus on the economic growth. But Walde Emanuel says he believes in the power of each generation to tackle society's problems. A sustainability event volunteer says it's up to each individual to change their behavior. Everybody has to take action. Everybody, it, the solutions are local. Every person has to be responsible. Every person has to be aware. And every person has to really make an effort, a conscious effort, every single day to reduce their demands on the environment. Now, the Clean Air Council says the average American uses and throws away about 500 paper cups each year. And as we get closer to Christmas, here's an interesting fact. People throw away about 38,000 miles of ribbon each year. That's long enough to tie a bow around the earth. Back to you.